Carbohydrates include sugars and the polymers of sugars. The simplest carbohydrates are monosaccharides, or simple sugars. If a sugar has an aldehyde group, it is known as an aldose, and if it has a ketone group, it is known as a ketose. A triose contains three carbon atoms, such as glyceraldehyde, which is an aldose, and dihydroxyacetone, which is a ketose. A tetrose contains four carbon atoms, such as erythrose, which is an aldose, and erythrulose, which is a ketose. A pentose contains five carbon atoms, including ribose and ribulose, xylose and cellulose, and arabinose. A hexose contains six carbon atoms, such as glucose, galactose, and mannose, which are aldoses, and fructose, which is a ketose. A disaccharide is formed when a dehydration reaction joins two monosaccharides, forming a glycosidic linkage. Reducing sugars contain free anomeric carbons derived from the ketone or aldehyde functional group in the open chain form, which are capable of being oxidized and causes the reduction of other substances. Reducing disaccharides include lactose, which consists of galactose and glucose linked by beta-1,4 glycosidic linkage, and maltose, which consists of two glucose linked by alpha-1,4 glycosidic bond. On the other hand, non-reducing sugars don't have a free anomeric carbon, therefore they can't be oxidized. Non-reducing disaccharides include sucrose, which consists of a glucose and fructose linked by alpha-1 to beta-2 glycosidic bond, as well as triolose, which consists of two glucose linked by alpha-1 to alpha-1 glycosidic bond. Carbohydrates have five main types of isomers. All carbohydrates except for dihydroxyacetone contain one or more asymmetric or chiral carbon atoms. Therefore, it has two different optical isomers or enantiomers, such as D-glucose and L-glucose. They differ by the orientation of the hydroxyl group on the chiral carbon farthest away from the aldehyde or ketone group. Most carbohydrates occur in D-form. Some L-form sugars include L-arabinose, L-galactose, L-fucose, and L-ascorbic acid. A second type of isomers are anomers, which differ at the anomeric carbon in a cyclic saccharide. In the alpha form, the anomeric carbon and the carbon-6 point in opposite directions, whereas in beta form, the anomeric carbon and carbon-6 point in the same direction. Alpha or beta anomers can be distinguished by specific glycosidase and amylase. Conversion between alpha and beta forms is known as mutarotation. Beta glucopyranose is usually more stable than alpha glucopyranose because all bulky substitutes are in equatorial positions. There is less steric hindrance, therefore it is more stable. Epimers or diastereomers only differ at a single chiral carbon. For example, mannose is an epimer of glucose at carbon 2 and galactose is an epimer of glucose at carbon 4. Structural isomer refer to aldoses versus ketoses mentioned earlier in the video, such as glucose and fructose. Sugars exist in equilibrium between their open chain and various closed chain forms, known as ring chain tautomerism. A six-member cyclic form is generally referred to as the pyranose form, and the five-member cyclic form is called the furanose form, each with alpha and beta anomers. Glucose exists 99% in the pyranose form. At 40 degrees Celsius, around 60% of fructose exists in pyranose form, whereas 40% of fructose exists in furanose form. When the temperature is lower to 25 degrees Celsius, the average mass percentage of pyranose increased to 73%, and percentage of furanose decreased to 27%. In addition to simple sugars such as glucose, galactose, and mannose, there are some sugar derivatives in which a hydroxyl group in the parent compound is replaced with another substituent, or a carbon atom is oxidized to a carboxyl group, such as in acidic sugars. Oxidation of C1 carbon of glucose produces gluconate. 6-phosphogluconate is an intermediate of the pentose phosphate pathway. L-ascorbate or vitamin C is derived from L-gluconate. Oxidation at carbon-6 forms the uronic acid, such as glucuronate and L-iduronate, both of which are important components of glycosaminoglycans. A special case of acidic sugar is derived from N-acetyl mannosamine, 
which is N-acetylnuramic acid, also known as sialic acid. It is a 9-carbon carboxylated sugar that occurs in many glycoproteins and glycolipids on animal cell surfaces, providing sites of recognition by other cells or extracellular carbohydrate binding proteins. Sugar alcohols are formed when the carbonyl group of the monosaccharide becomes hydroxylated. The sugar alcohol of glucose at carbon-1 is known as sorbitol. It is commonly found in artificial sweeteners. The sugar alcohol at carbon-6 is known as inositol. It is a key component of many secondary messengers such as inositol phosphate, as well as being a component of the membrane such as phosphatidyl inositol. In amino sugar, the hydroxyl at carbon-2 of the parent compound is replaced with an amino group, which is commonly condensed with acetic acid, such as N-acetylglucosamine or glucnac derived from glucose and N-acetylgalactosamine derived from galactose, as well as the previously mentioned mannac derived from mannose. Glucnac and galnac are key components of glucose aminoglycan as well as many glycoproteins and glycolipids. In deoxy sugars, one of the hydroxyl group is substituted for a hydrogen, such as carbon-2 of ribose in deoxyribose, a key component of the DNA. The deoxy sugar of galactose at carbon-6 is known as L-fucose, which is a key component of glycolipids and glycoproteins, as well as the structural component of the antigen of A and B blood groups. Homopolysaccharides contain only a single monomeric species, whereas heteropolysaccharides contain two or more different kinds. Homopolysaccharides that functions in energy storage include glycogen, which is the main storage polysaccharide of animal cells. It is a polymer of alpha-1 to 4 linked glucose, with alpha-1 to 6 linked branches every 8 to 12 residues. The energy storing polysaccharide in plants is known as starch. It contains two types of glucose polymers. Amylose consists of long unbranched chains of glucose residues connected by alpha-1 to 4 linkages, whereas amylopectin contains glucose residues linked by alpha-1 to 4 as well as alpha-1 to 6 linkages, branching every 24 to 30 residues, which is less compact than glycogen. Structural homopolysaccharides include Chitin, which is found in the exoskeleton of insects, as well as hyphae in fungi. It is composed of glucnac or N-acetylglucosamine, linked by beta-1 to 4 linkages. Cellulose is found in the cell walls of plants. It is composed of glucose residues linked by beta-1 to 4 glycosidic bonds. Human digestive system only contains alpha amylases and glycosidases, which breaks down alpha-1 to 4 linkages but we lack an enzyme to hydrolyze beta-1 to 4 linkages. Therefore, we cannot process cellulose as a fuel source. It is known as an insoluble fiber. Dextrins are bacterial and yeast polysaccharides made out of alpha-1 to 6 linked glucose with alpha-1 to 3 branches. It contributes to the formation of dental plaques. Dextrins are adhesive and allow bacteria to stick to the teeth. Structural heteropolysaccharides include peptidoglycan, which is found in bacterial cell walls. It is a heteropolymer of alternating beta-1 to 4 link N-acetylglucosamine and N-acetylmeramic acid. Acker is found in the cell walls of seaweeds and other algae. It contains two components, acarose and acaropectin. Acarose is a linear polymer made up of repeating units of D-galactose and L-galactose. Acropectin is made up of alternating units of D-galactose and L-galactose heavily modified with acidic side groups, such as sulfate and pyruvate. Glycosaminoglycans are heteropolysaccharides that are found in the extracellular matrix, which holds the cells together and provides a porous pathway for diffusion of nutrients and oxygen to individual cells. It is composed of repeating disaccharide units. One of the two monosaccharides is always either Glucnac or galnac. The other one is usually a uronic acid. Hyaluronate or hyaluronin contains alternating residues of glucnac and glucuronate. It is a component of the extracellular matrix of cartilage and tendons. It also serves as a joint lubricant 
and give the vitreous humor of the vertebrate eye its jelly-like consistency. Heparin consists of repeating units of glucnac and iduronic acid. It is very negatively charged as it contains four sulfate groups. It is derived from a type of leukocyte known as the mast cell, and it inhibits coagulation by binding to antithrombin which causes antithrombin to bind to and inhibit thrombin, a protein essential to blood clotting. It also stimulates the release of LDL, or low-density lipoprotein, which deliver fat molecules to cells. Heparin sulfate is produced by all animal cells, and it consists of repeating units of glucnac and glucuronate. It has lower sulfate content than heparin. Chondrotin sulfate consists of repeating units of galnac and glucuronate. It contributes to the tensile strength of cartilage, tendons, ligaments, and the walls of aorta. It is also present in blood vessels and heart valves. Dermatin sulfate consists of repeating units of galnac and iduronate. It is found mostly in the skin, but also in blood vessels, heart valves, tendons, and lungs. Keratin sulfate consists of repeating units of glucnac and galactose. It doesn't have a uronic acid, and its sulfate content is highly variable. Keratin sulfates are present in cornea, cartilage, bones, and a variety of horny structures formed from dead cells, such as horns, hairs, hoofs, nails, and claws. Glycoproteins are oligosaccharides covalently linked to proteins. It is found on the outer surface of plasma membrane, extracellular matrix, and blood, as well as Golgi apparatus, secretory granules, and lysosomes inside the cell. O-link glucnac can function in signaling related to diabetes and cancer. O-linked hydroxylysine and hydroxyproline are found in collagen the most abundant protein in our body. N-linked glycoprotein usually contains the sequence asparagine X serine or threonine. X stands for any amino acid except for proline. This sequence helps with protein folding. Lectins are glycoproteins that recognize specific sugar groupings. Oligosaccharide ligands present on endothelial cells will bind to lymphocytes expressing L-selectin. Mannose 6-phosphate is a molecule bound by lectin in the immune system. It is also a targeting signal that are destined for transport to lysosomes. Hemagglutinin are glycoproteins which cause red blood cells to aggregate. The hemagglutinin is also responsible for binding influenza virus to sialic acid on the surface of target cells, causing the internalization of the virus. Neuraminidases are viral enzymes that cleave sialic acid groups from glycoproteins. Therefore, neuraminidase inhibitors serve as antiviral agents that inhibit the viral activity of influenza virus. Proteoglycans, on the other hand, are glycosaminoglycans covalently attached to core proteins. They serve as joint lubricant, tissue structure, binding of extracellular matrix, and modulation of cell growth. Heparin FGF or fibroblast growth factor complex prevent FGF from degradation. TGFB or transforming growth factor B stimulates synthesis and secretion of proteoglycans.